All right. <clears throat> Welcome back, everybody. This is Una Daly from the Community College Consortium for OER. And we are now on our eighth presentation um, in our Open Education Week Tour de Force of OER Degree and Adoption Showcases. It's my pleasure to introduce uh, Juvil Dario Becker, who is biology faculty and also the OER degree lead at Central Virginia Community College. And we heard from another uh, Virginia Community College earlier. Um, Virginia has a long history of OER degrees, um, not only with Achieving the Dream, which is the most recent one, which uh, Central Virginia is participating in, but also they had an earlier um, OER degree program that was um, partially state funded through, um, of course, through uh, the state of Virginia. So I'd like to turn it over now to Juvil to tell us more about that. Thank you, and good afternoon, everyone. Um, I am from Lynchburg, Virginia. That is where Central Virginia Community College is located. So let's begin. And I hope you can see the, this was taken, I believe, last year. That's the whole campus of Central Virginia Community College. We are a small college. And here is our college profile. We have about 2,300 FTEs. The average of our students' age is 22, and we are about 37% on financial aid. Uh, Full-time in-state tuition is 4,100, and average amount of financial aid is 3,300. So that's, we're about a typical community college in the, in the state. We have 73 full-time faculty, and we offer 27 associates and 27 career certificates, two diplomas, and four certificates. Uh, as Una said, um, we started uh, in 2015 with a Z times 23 degree, um, which was funded uh, partially by the state of Virginia and partially by the ULET Foundation. And from there, we applied for the ATD OER degree initiative, and we were um, lucky to get the grant. We are one of the six community colleges in the state that is part of the Virginia Community College Consortium. And just like everybody else, our primary um, rationale for the grant uh, application is to help students financially to shorten the degree completion time. And we are adhering to the Guided Pathways Initiative, which I believe most of you are um, familiar with. We also are into pedagogical innovation. So the faculty, the faculty champion that we have in this grant are all into open pedagogy. And since the materials that we are using are online, we also are responding to our students' lifestyle. Now, I'm sure you know this, that students no longer read most of the time printed materials. They are all on their phone, and that's how they read the textbook. So we are just responding to their lifestyle changes. Um, <clears throat> our goal for the uh, OER degree initiative is to create um, three degrees, degree programs. We have a one-year, 10-course, 30-credit certificate in general education. We have a two-year, 19 course, 61 credits, AA and S in uh, science in general studies. We have a, an 18 course, 61 credit, AA and S um, in um, general studies. And these are all faculty-driven initiatives. And the major impetus for this is to address the rising cost of textbook in the system. So for our adoption process, we have faculty and administration buy-in. We encourage professional development, and we, in fact, um, require all faculty that are developing and teaching OER to undergo 
professional development training through a pathways course that we adopted from um, Tidewater Community College. And to encourage participation, we offer a faculty stipend for both developing a, a new course or adopting an existing OER course. We also have a robust uh, CVCC LibGuide that is continuously updated by our librarians. So the resources are there for the faculty that are adopting and developing the OER courses. Uh, to date, 77% of the required courses in the three academic uh, curricula that I just mentioned have been um, developed and uh, have been certified by Lumen as OER certified courses. So we have until the end of this year to make it 100%. We have more adjuncts that are um, considering teaching uh, and adopting the OER courses that we have developed. And we still have a lot of faculty that are kind of on the wayside, but they are beginning to warm up to the OER uh, philosophy and the students are becoming more and more aware of the OER. And in order to make the adoption of OER easy, we have uh, created the um, LMS course template. In other words, we have a Blackboard course template for biology, for English, and we are now moving into the other courses so that a faculty who comes in, especially the adjunct, all they do is log onto that Blackboard site and then they can modify and adapt and do whatever they need to do to suit their uh, teaching um, preferences. So we are making it easy for them to adapt the existing OER course. Um, this semester, this is spring 2018, we have 85 sections taught with OER materials. Uh, we uh, have adopted the broad definition here, including the Z course, the low cost, and the hybrid courses that are taught with OER and copyrighted materials. But for the ADD grant, we are strictly considering OER in the broadest definition of the five R of permissions. We have 14 classes, and we are currently serving almost 1,400 students and the faculty are actively promoting OER through presentations at conferences. And now we have branched out to the high school. So we have counselors that go to the high school and do their recruiting, and we have um, given them the resources to tell the students and the, the parents of these high school students that at the college we now are adopting uh, open educational resources. Um, oh, this is um, this is as of fall 2016, but um, we have gone um, farther than this. We started actually. I started in fall um, 13 with one course up until the summer of 2015. I was the only one teaching a course, but as you can see, with the uh, grant that we got uh, starting in the fall of um, 2015, we have made a lot of progress in there. Um, the challenges that we have faced to college-wide OER adoption, um, we still have a lot of faculty who are skeptical about OER and they mistrust the model. Um, the faculty training has been kind of, there is a lot of pushback in that because of the time constraint as well as the workload and the commitment that must be in there. Uh, also, there are problems uh, or perceived problems with uh, specific disciplines. For example, uh, in modern uh, literature or American literature, it is very difficult to find materials that are in the public domain or that are CC uh, by um, license. So that is, we are still working on that one. The proprietary materials for applied sciences, like for example, in most of, in some of our business courses that are using Microsoft products, we, we cannot move away from that because that, that seems to be the standard right now of the business community. Um, 
as far as um, registration for OER, you can see here that in our um, SIS, OER is displayed in there. So when a student comes in and register, so if you click on that OER tab and then you just click on the uh, course that we have here, what it will do is it will take you to the courses that are OER. So here we are. All of these are OER sections. And as I said, there was uh, 81 sections that we have right now that are OER. So, sustainability. Now, we have a, studi um, a student and faculty awareness campaign going on. We are making sure that our students are buying into the program. Uh, we are um, observing and we are uh, sensing that there is a cultural shift happening as far as accessing the um, course materials. There is also community awareness because we are, you know, word of mouth, we have also uh, contacted um, the other higher institutions uh, of learning. We have three other colleges within our area. And we have been talking to their faculty and asking them if they are using OER or if they are willing to learn about it. And we are certainly going to share with them what we have. So we are actually uh, planning in the fall of having a Creative Commons licensing workshop. We are thinking of bringing uh, somebody from uh, Virginia Tech to do the workshop. And we are inviting the other faculty from the other higher education institutions nearby. So how do we promote OER? We, I am always present at the student picnics. We have um, announcements in the daily bulletin. We have uh, brochures that are included in the high school recruitment package. We also have some raffles that are, you know, giving them a promotional materials that are OER, such as coffee mugs and um, pens. And we are currently in discussion about how we are going to sustain the efforts that we have made as far as having this um, OER courses at the college. So here are some of our promotional materials. So this one here is a a poster, standard text uh, poster size. We have peppered our campus with these uh, posters. And then here is a brochure. This is um, the folded uh, uh, brochure. This is the brochure that goes into the uh, student recruitment um, packets. And as when a student goes, comes over to campus, these are placed in strategic locations, so it's easy for them to just pick up the brochure and see what's in there. Here's our coffee mug, and this is a big hit. So let me know if you want some. I still have a few left. Now, these are the two announcements that's, that has a specific um, real estate location in our daily bulletin. So five days a week, this is peppered in the daily bulletin at Central Virginia Community College. And that's all I got. So I'll be happy to entertain some questions if you have any. Well, thank you so much, Juvil, for sharing uh, the work at Central Virginia Community College. Um, and really interesting to hear about um, growing the program and doing outreach into the high schools as well. It sounds like a theme that a number of other colleges are pursuing as well. Indeed. So if there are no questions, can I stop <laughs> sharing my screen now? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, so thank you, um, Juville, for presenting with us and sharing the, the great work at Central Virginia Community College. And we have a case study at the cccoer.org website as well that talks a little bit more about uh, the work at Central Virginia. 
and thank you uh, to everyone who joined us today. Uh, we will have another session in about 15 minutes, um, and we will be hearing from West Hills College Lemoore in California, and we'll be hearing from the head librarian there, Ron Oxford. So uh, see everyone in just a few minutes. <laughs>